Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another football break today. Today we're going to take our luck again. If you didn't check out the first video, it was pretty lackluster. You didn't really miss anything. But uh, anytime you find something retail-wise and in the stores and you pay at cost prices, it's a victory. So I was able to get a couple more of these, so we're going to do another one today. We got another one of these championship collection uh, retail boxes here from the Fairfield Company. I believe it's Fairfield Company, right? No, MJ Holding. Take it back. MJ Holding on that one. Not Fairfield Company. Uh, but close enough, guys. Uh, yeah, we got one of these boxes here. The first one was pretty lackluster. But uh, before we get into that, the background cards. Showed this one on the left to the channel before my 1960 Johnny Unitas. I recently picked that up because I'm starting to build out my Johnny Unitas PC. I have to go with his uh, 57 rookie card there that I have that's not on display right now. But, uh, yeah, my 1960 Johnny U that I picked up. And then we picked up this 1964 Johnny Nice raw, or not rookie card, but uh, raw card uh, at one of my favorite antique stores. So uh, happy to throw that into the PC. It's not a perfect card by any means, but uh, it is Johnny Nice, And it's original and vintage, so you can't beat that. That's going to the PC. So yeah, that being said, guys, let's get this cellophane the heck out of the way, and I'll show you guys the box so that we can get some of that glare and reflection off of there. Make it easier to see. These are pretty lackluster. I found these at Walmart for uh, $19.98, I think, is the cost on these. This box is a little bit crushed, actually, but uh, I did get this off of the shelf behind the counter, that is, at Walmart. And in this box, you get seven factory sealed packs, seven assorted cards. Um, yeah, and, you know, you're looking for graded cards, quite honestly, because I did not get one in the first box. So I guess the probably the main goal is the graded card. I think it seems to be pretty much... What you kind of see in this box, everything seems to be Leaf Draft as well as the Sage Hit uh, Premier Draft stuff, you know, which are you know not really that valuable. I mean, if you get one of these cards that are pictured here, I mean, obviously that's another thing in itself. But uh, yeah, I don't know. The first box was pretty lackluster, but twenty bucks and retail cost worth a shot, right? Like I said, I have a couple more of these boxes. If we don't get a graded card today, we will open the other one here for sure. No graded card, I'll tell you that right off the bat, guys, because there's the case. Here's our packs. Looks like it's fairly lackluster, to be honest, just like the first one. But we'll pull it out. We'll check it out. Maybe we'll get lucky. You never know. Show you guys what's doing in here as we kind of close and move that box back here. And I'm honestly not going to hide the, uh, the seven bonus cards. I mean, the holder, in all honesty, is about the nicest part of these bonus cards. It's a nice little horror for cards, but... Uh, Show you guys the seven cards they threw in here. So, TD Machines, uh, Christian McCaffrey from Leaf Draft, Joe Mixon from Draft, Malik McDowell from Dra uh, Draft, Artavius Scott, McKinley, Rudolph, and then last but not least, that Young Stars, Mohamed Sanu, and that is also Leaf as well. So, you know, nothing really crazy in there, at least in my opinion. Like I said, I like that case, though. I <laughs> will use the case. All right, set that over there, and here are our seven packs. So we got 2020 Sage High Series. This is Low Series, I assume. Yep, 2020 Low Series. Leaf Draft from 2020. We got one, two, three of those, and we got 2018 Leaf Draft. And then probably the best uh, pack here, the best chance of an auto, uh, 2020 Hit Premier Draft Football there. That's a uh, hobby pack there, so... Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. This is very similar to the first box. We'll see what we get in here, though. Not going to drag this out. Don't get overly excited if we pull a rookie of somebody in here because those are like, like that guy, Joe Burrow, right off the bat. Uh, they're so common, it's unbelievable in this Sage Hit stuff. So, I mean, they're worth a couple bucks, but not too much. Not too much. If you pull an auto, though, that could be something else. So, there you go. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. So two Joe Burrows in the very first pack. Let's do our, is this high or low? No, low series. That was high series, so let's do our low series. Let's see what we get here. All right, Hudson, Jonathan Taylor, Kelly Bryant. That's, I think that's called a silver parallel, but I, I really don't know my sage. Cam Akers and Zach Moss, next level. Uh, I think we're going to save those two for the end. Let's do these three 2020 Leaf Drafts. 
J.K. Dobbins, All-American right off the bat. Benjamin, Jonathan Taylor, that's a yellow border. Jerry Judy, DeAndre Swift. James Proch, Justin Jefferson, Touchdown Kings, Tower Johnson, Jonathan Taylor, Austin Mack. So, I mean, if you're pulling these out of, say, Prism or Optic or something, you know, then you're talking some really good hits, but it's just they're so common and so overly produced in Leaf Draft and that Sage Premier Draft that, uh, you know, it's just there's not much value. There's really not much value. Jalen Hurts, first time we saw him, Isaiah Simmons. All right, 2018 draft. Let's see what we can get in here. They got Baker Mayfield pitcher there on the cover of the pack. And in this one, touchdown machines right off the bat of Royce Freeman, Josh Allen, Christian Kirk, I guess one of those yellows, Arden Key, and Minka Fitzpatrick for my Steelers. All right, this is the pack that uh, has the best potential. Let's see what we get in here. This is 2020. It'd be really nice to get an auto to at least end it. Uh, let's see what we get here. Cam Akers, next level. Carter Stanley. Joe Burrow, next level. Justin Jefferson, next level. Not looking too good. David Woodward. Jonathan Taylor. And Justin Jefferson. So, honestly, guys, a pretty, pretty lackluster, um, you know, break. You know, it is what it is that you can't go in expecting to pull... The cards pictured on the cover there and stuff but it would be nice in one of these boxes that i got to uh, at least pull a slab card because i'd be curious to see if they're giving you kind of crap cards as the slab card uh or if because they're kind of harder to hit these slab cards that uh maybe you get at least a decent pull so uh yeah, i'm definitely gonna open another one or two of these i think i actually have only two more so we'll probably open those up here on the channel and uh, see if we can get a slab card at least out of one of those boxes Please do me a favor, guys. Like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.